here with us now is Eric Jones, who drove in from the Southern Tier to be with us yeah. today. Thank you, Eric, so much. Thanks for having me. Um, we are excited to talk a little bit more about what you're doing in Western New York, especially your new nonprofit. So before we get into all that, tell us who you are. And I'm sure you guys have seen Eric before if you watch the Food Network and if you like pumpkins as much as I do. So let's talk about where we've seen you before. Yeah, most of the country knows me as um, the guy on Halloween Wars and Outrageous Pumpkins on the Food Network. But Western New York knows me as the guy that makes the big Buffalo Bill sculptures, mostly. Yes. But uh, So I'm the current uh, champion of Outrageous Pumpkins, which is a Food Network show, uh, season three winner. Uh, I won that last fall. And I was also on season 10 of uh, Halloween Wars. More of that to come. Um, but uh, my passion is sculpting. You know, I'm not carving pumpkins. I'm sculpting snow in the wintertime. And when the snow melts, I'm sculpting sand. So year round, I'm, I'm carving and sculpting something. Has that been a passion of yours since you were a young child? Like, how did that develop? I don't really think so. I mean, I, I, I loved Play-Doh and things when I was a kid <laughs> like everyone else, but I've been a two-dimensional artist my whole career as a professional artist, a caricature artist, actually. And I got kind of bored and, and got a little complacent with it, so I wanted to try some three-dimensional work. So a few years ago, I got into pumpkins and snow, and uh, it just took off, and I'm pretty good at it now, and, and uh, that's kind of become my, my real passion. Amazing. And so you've said that you've carved Bill's, you know, snow sculptures. The the uh, most famous one being Josh Allen. Yes. Um, but you are now carving for kids who are actually sick. So let's go into that new nonprofit that yeah. you have. What is it and what are you doing with it? So yeah, the, the Allen Diggs backslap was the, the, the one that went viral. Uh, and I've done, you know, I did uh, Damar Hamlin at, at Canal Side. So the energy in these temporary, temporary carvings, especially out of snow, just kind of took off. So um, I was asked to do a carving at Galisano Children's Hospital for a, a congenital heart defect awareness. And it's Hearts for Isabel as a cherry in the southern tier. And I'm working on this big sculpture of Mike and Sully. It's about nine feet tall. And I turn around and all the kids in the hospital are watching and they're cheering me on. And it, would, it just really moved me. And I thought, you know, the little creative effort that goes into these just brings smiles to kids and kids that have uh, that serious injuries or serious illness. I can make sculptures in their yard, uh, at their school, at the hospital, wherever they want me to. So I've, I started this charity. It's brand new. It's it's a brand new nonprofit. So I'm just getting started. And as the funds come in and as the inquiries come in, we'll be sculpting for kids. So from that hospital experience where all the kids were watching you, what a what an amazing moment for yeah. you. Where did that lead to other sculptures that you've created? So I've, I've made some connections with some kids in the Southern Tier, uh, you know, Colt 45 is kind of a famous Western New York guy. Now he's, he's my buddy and uh, I did the big Thor snow sculpture for him. Uh, Gabby Kranick, who was uh, struck by a vehicle, um, she was at ECMC and, and I did uh, about a nine foot tall German Shepherd puppy looking up at her window right in the ECMC parking lot. They were wonderful to work with. Uh, and it just it just goes and goes. There's there there have been several of them, and of course Sophia the Fierce. You know we did Yoda in her front yard, and um, it's just been amazing. Just seeing the smiles on these kids' faces. That's really what it's all about. Is there any sculpture you cannot create? Have you been challenged <laughs> with? I mean, you've done Baby Yoda and the German Shepherd and yeah. Sully and Mike from Monsters. Yeah. Inc. Anything that really has challenged you? The most challenging is sand, and this is sand season because we don't have snow or pumpkins. So it's all about sand right now. Sand is very difficult to, to sculpt with. You're, you're limited on the shape. Uh, the weight has to be distributed in a pyramid shape. It's not like snow where you can just build grand and then you make whatever you want and paint it. Sand, you're kind of limited. And I've had many sand sculptures completely collapse on me and have to start all, wow. all over. But that's part of the learning process. Yeah. yeah. So. So how does your nonprofit work? Can people sponsor these sculptures for these children that are sick? Yeah, it's brand new, so I'm taking all inquiries. So you can either sponsor a specific carve or you can donate. Uh, the, the website is sculptingforsmiles.com. You can also follow my social media, Eric Jones Studios, Instagram, Facebook, all of them, and you can see the links there. And you can donate directly to it, or if you like, you can step in and uh, sponsor a, a specific carve. So the next carve is for a young man named Wyatt, and uh, I'm doing a, a Paw Patrol uh, sand sculpture for him, and uh, Western New York Orthodontics is, is actually funding that one. So I'm, I'm really hoping people can step in and fund each one, and I've got a list of people that need sculptures, so yeah, yeah we need the funding. 
I remember reading about Sophia and her wanting her sculpture to face the street, yeah. and not even her window, because yeah. she wanted other people to enjoy it, and she was so sick she couldn't leave her home. How does that make you feel as a sculptor to know that you're making such a big impact for kids that are so selfless? Yeah, that was so touching to me. When I, I talked to Sophia and she said that, she said, face it toward the road so other people could enjoy it too. And that just moved me, you know, for her to be so so uh, um, selfless in that way. So yeah, I, just seeing the looks on their faces when they see these, and it's like, it's not just a sculpture that they got to see, it was made specifically for them. And uh, you know, they say laughter is the best medicine, right? And laughter always starts with a smile. So that's kind of my tag. Thank yeah. you so much, Eric, for being for here today. Me. To learn more about his his um, nonprofit, head over to sculptingforsmiles.com and you can learn more about his remarkable nonprofit.